Spatial data is a term used to describe any data that contains information about a specific location on the Earth's surface. Several other terms may be used to refer to spatial data as geospatial, geographic, georeference data, or geodata. Spatial data contains coordinate information, allowing features to be presented on a map. Geoportals could present an excellent resource for users looking for geospatial data. Some of them will give you the option to download data, and others only to preview it. You can also search the internet by typing what are you looking for, along with some of the common GIS file formats such as shapefile, KML, or GPKG. Importing data to QGIS could be done in a few ways. The simplest and the fastest is a drag and drop. You only need to click on the desired file and holding a left mouse button move it over the QGIS window and release it over it. Be aware that before dragging and dropping the shape files need to be extracted if they are stored in zip or RAR files. A shapefile is a dataset that consists of a few files, and those three are mandatory, SHP, DBF, and SHX. Those must be placed in the same folder and must have the same name. If the individual files do not have the same name and are not in the correct location, the shapefile will fail to open. The other way of importing data is by using the browser panel. This panel allows you to explore files and folders stored on a computer. If in some cases a browser or any other panel doesn't appear in your QGS, you can always enable it by clicking the View drop-down menu, then Panels, and checking the one you are missing. And the third way of importing data is available in the layer. Data Source Manager menu or Layer Add Layer, which also opens the Data Source Manager dialog. Many times, the spatial data comes in a table. If there is a list of coordinates in the table, a spatial data layer can be generated by clicking on a large comma icon. A comma is a symbol for add delimited text layer. In those text files, a comma is used to separate slash delimit values so the software could identify rows and columns within it. After loading a table or textual file, Check out Sample Data at the bottom of the window. Be assured that the first row in the CSV file acts as a row header for the data. If QGS finds suitable names in the first row, for example, X and Y, Lawn and Lat, or Longitude and Latitude, X field and Y field values will be autofilled. Otherwise, you will need to specify what columns should QGS use for the X field and Y field. After that, choose the coordinate reference system of that data and click Add button. Even non-spatial tables can be browsed and edited using the attribute table view. Those tables could be simply dragged and dropped after which they will show up in the layer panel. If those tables share a unique and common attribute for each feature with some other layer, the data from those tables could join together, so the data from non-spatial tables will show up in attribute tables of spatial layers. This could be completed by following the next steps. Right-click on the layer that will receive the new data from the join and choose Properties and then choose Joins. Click the Add Join button, green plus sign. Define the join layer, 
join field, and target field. The join layer represents the layer from which we are transferring the attributes and the join field is the column name of that layer that we want to match with another table. The target field is the column in the attribute table the join will be based on. Spatial data is essentially without scale. A map scale is the ratio of the length of any object on a map to the actual length of the same object in the real world. Spatial resolution refers to the size of one pixel on the ground. A pixel is the smallest element that makes up an optical satellite image and determines how detailed a picture is. Landsat data, for example, has a 30 meter resolution, meaning each pixel stands for a 30 meters by 30 meters area on the ground. In QGS the scale can be changed by either zooming in, zooming out, selecting one of the predefined options in the drop-down menu, or typing a specific value. Base maps are reference maps that are useful for adding context to your datasets or to making sure that your data is showing up in the right place. You should always put them on the bottom, so they won't cover the rest of your data. Just click on a layer and drag it to the bottom of the layer's stack while holding the left mouse key. Photos taken with smartphones and cameras with built-in GPS have the location embedded in them that could be represented in QGIS. Type a photo in Processing Toolbox and open the Import Geotagged Photos tool. Choose a folder with photos and click Run. To view photos directly from QGS, Press the Identify Features icon and choose a point from the layer named Photos. Right-click on Identify Results panel and choose View Feature Form. You can see there is a computer chip icon next to that layer that indicates that it is a temporary layer held in memory, not saved to a hard disk. So, remember to save those layers to avoid losing your work. Right-click on that layer and choose Export, Save Features As, or double-click at that layer. Choose a folder where you want to keep it and type the name. Save and OK.